Kelly here from Winchester Caravans and today we're going to talk through hitching on your caravan with an Alco hitch head. So on the A-frame of your caravan you will find the following things. Firstly your Alco stabiliser. When this is engaged it helps stop the caravan from swaying. The hitch head handle, your red breakaway cable, your electric cable which plugs into the back of your car for your road lights and also if it's a 13 pin then it will do your fridge and battery as you go. Your jockey wheel, the top handle moves the jockey wheel up and down. The side handle is for the clamp that holds the pole in place. This here is your handbrake. When it's engaged it's upright like so and this particular model that we're looking at today has got the ATC fitted and the light for that is just shown here. When hitching on, make sure that you bring your toe ball up in line with this black part here so that it's completely underneath the head of the A-frame here. And then you want to make sure that the stabiliser handle is up like this. Raise your hitch head handle up 45 degrees, sometimes it will stay up like this for you. And when you get to that point, you then want to lower the caravan. So to do that, you wind the jockey wheel so that the caravan goes down with the top handle and once it's on you should see that this handle clicks down. You will also see a green line just here. The best check that you can do after this point is to then raise the caravan again. So wind the jockey wheel the opposite direction and you should see your car start to raise. That way you know that they're both hitched on together as one is raising the other. After this point you then want to continue to raise the jockey wheel by winding the top handle and as you do this you will see there is a small groove here. Make sure you get this part up into this groove. So it should be like shown. That means it's as high as possible but to make it even higher you can raise it up using this handle here. So undo this handle and it's important to hold on to this pole as well so that the whole jockey wheel doesn't drop down. Don't undo it all the way, just enough to loosen it. On this particular model, it goes up on the side. Some vans, it will go up through the centre. Either way, pull it up as high as you can and tighten that jockey wheel handle like so. Now that's nice and secure. So the next thing to do is to put your stabiliser down and to do that, Make sure your breakaway cable is out the way and push this handle down. If you find it a little bit tough, just give it a bit of a pump and use both hands, like so. There we go. And that's now engaged the friction pads around your tow ball to help stop the sway. The next thing you want to do is hook on your breakaway cable. So underneath here you'll see it has a carabiner clip. Undo this clip. On your car you will see either a little hook for it to clip onto or if it doesn't have a hook on your car then wrap it around your tow ball like so and clip it back on itself. Try and make sure you keep the breakaway cable nice and straight you don't want any curls in it. The next thing you want to do is plug your electric cable in. When your electric cable has a holder like this it may be locked in so do just turn it and it should pull out. On the inside of the plug you will see a small square here. When this is lined up correctly it should be at a right angle with the line down here. If you find that this has moved sometimes when you take the plug out a little quickly you can get a green adapter that you can pop on here that turns and puts that back right where it should be. So if you have one of those keep it in your glove box just in case. You want to line up this little square with the square that is in your socket. So you can see the bottom there that's where the square is. So you line that up push it in forwards and then turn it so that the flat part matches up with the cap. Come back out again. Sometimes you will find that the cable is a good length to match up with your car. If it's a bit too long you may need to wrap it over or under the uh, hitch to make sure that it doesn't drag on the floor. In the previous clip you may have heard a strange noise in the background, a mechanical noise. 
When you plug your electrics into the car, if you have an Alco ATC fitted, this noise is the Alco ATC checking the brakes of the caravan. It takes them, puts them on and takes them off. You should see a green light here when this happens, if everything is okay. If it's flashing, that's absolutely fine. If when you plug your plug into the car and you get a red light here, take the plug out of the car and plug it back in again. It may need to refresh its memory. If once you've done this, it is still red, it means it's sensing a problem with the braking system on the caravan. So that's when you need to give us a ring. Last thing to do before you go is to take your handbrake off. So push the button in at the top if it has one. Some of them don't have one. And then simply push it down towards your car. Don't forget to check your lights before you leave. When unhitching the caravan, simply work through the steps of hitching on in the opposite direction. So first thing to do is put your handbrake on, push the button in if it has one, lift it back towards the caravan, give it an extra tug just to make sure it's on. Then remove your electric cable by lifting the cap up, turning the plug 90 degrees and moving from the socket. And then remove your breakaway cable. So undo the clip and release. Thing to do is to take off your stabiliser. So take the handle here, you may want to hold it with two hands, and give it a good tug upwards and release. Next move to the jockey wheel, take the bracket handle, loosen this, hold on to the pole at the same time again so that you can drop your jockey wheel down almost to the floor and then clamp that back in so that it stays in position. Take the small hitch head handle, raise that 45 degrees as before, and then wind the jockey wheel so that it goes down, holding on to the handle at the same time until the caravan becomes clear of the car. And there we have it.